to another vlog, you guys. Wow, it's been, well, it feels like it's been a minute on my channel. We've been vlogging, well, we are completed. We are done, but we did Vlogmas all month long, a vlog every day in December. If you wanna check that out, I'll link it below the playlist. It was on my husband's channel, but we're vlogging on my channel today, baby. I actually used for the first time in a minute an actual waiver. It, I don't, I couldn't tell you the last time I used one. Like maybe when I was pregnant, like a year ago, maybe, I don't even know. Anyway, but I love when I have my hair wavy to like put it up in like a some up and some down half pony type thing. Today we are at work and I just finished filming a drugstore haul slash try on. That was so much fun. There are some freaking amazing products. I think that video will be up before this one, so I'll link it below. But uh, yeah, so it's always exciting to like find new launches of stuff that's actually good. It really is exciting because I feel like a lot of times, and let me know if you feel the same way, I feel like a lot of times, especially with TikTok, YouTube too, but especially with TikTok, like things will blow up, if you will, they'll go viral and they're actually not any good. <laughs> but it was like one person that said it once and enough people saw it and then filmed their own and it's actually something that like in the grand scheme of things, it's actually not that great or it's not any better than stuff that's out there. But this time there really were some amazing products, another viral product too, that's like not as good. So if you wanna watch that video, I'll link it below. But uh, yeah, so we're kind of finishing up here. We have a couple hours. Uh, I think I'm gonna pour a fresh cup of coffee for myself. I need to sit down, answer some emails. It's still the beginning of the year obviously and so i am still kind of creating some documents that i use through the year to like not just planning but also planning out like sponsorships and just different things like that and also just bookkeeping type stuff so i actually also have a meeting here in a few weeks with a bookkeeper because i i've been using one via like quickbooks and if you're someone that owns a small business and you've ever used quickbooks bookkeeping service you pay extra for it it's not cheap and um I have not had the best experience. <laughs> so, and I, as I've read more and more reviews online, a lot of people have not had a great experience. So I use QuickBooks for everything else and I do like it for that. But anyway, my point is uh, I've had three different bookkeepers in one year. I feel like I'm just getting passed around. And so then I have to re-explain my entire business model and all this over and over again. Whereas if I just had the one, it would be so much more seamless. So anyway, I have a meeting with a bookkeeper that's local to where I live, which I think is probably what I should have done from the beginning. I'm just lazy and QuickBooks was easier. <laughs> So that, why am I talking about that? Just thinking of like prepping for my year and things like business wise that I need to get done. So speaking of like sponsorships and organizing, this video is very kindly sponsored by Thrive Market. I have a grocery haul to share with you guys. Later in the video, I am excited about some of the stuff I got because we needed some restocks on some favorites. We got some new things. Uh, anyway, first coffee. Fast forward a few hours. I just did a workout. I was like, I've got like 15 minutes before we gotta go to get the girls. I can squeeze something in. <laughs> Y'all, I'll link the one I did. I've done this one before, but it was literally probably the beginning of lockdown. <laughs> that 15 minutes, I wasn't wearing my watch. I'm like, dang it. I'd be so curious. You heard about the whole time. Best 15 minute workout I think I've ever, ever discovered. It was a dance workout. No weights, no nothing. I was barefoot. <laughs> I'm actually in a maternity, <laughs> I old maternity like workout shirt. Anyway, so much fun. So much fun. So I highly recommend. I'll link it below. Uh, it's literally titled the most fun 15 minute cardio dance fitness workout ever. And it should just say most intense, also fun, but most intense 15 minutes. So if you have 15 minutes, you're welcome. That, that was like, to me, felt like a three mile run, like all squished into 15 minutes. Amazing. Okay. Girls are asleep. I need to clean up the kitchen. We had this dinner tonight and I, so it was from this cookbook here. You're gonna laugh at how many post-it notes I have in it. Called Everyday Dinners, um, Amazon. I, we've made a lot of good things from it. So this one was like a protein bowl. So it had quinoa on the bottom. I'll pop a picture on the screen so you can see what it looked like. Quinoa on the bottom and then some sweet corn, sweet potatoes, cherry tomatoes. And the idea is that you put pesto in the quinoa and then you make like an avocado lime dressing to go on top of it. Well, I had actually bought the things we needed at the grocery store. I bought an avocado, I bought lime because you use like jet juice and zest of a lime. 
to make the dressing. I had pesto, but I cut open the avocado. I'd waited too long. And of course it had like totally gone bad. So I'm like, like beyond repair bad. So I'm like, oh, darn it. So I couldn't make that. And I'm like, well, I don't want to put the pesto in the quinoa if I don't have a dressing that's going to go well with pesto. And I knew like if I left the pesto out, I felt like honey mustard or something like that would be good on it because we make something else similar. So that's what I did. And it was really good. Tyler literally <laughs> ate his in like five minutes and went back for seconds. He was like, I, this was so good. I'm like, it really was. And it was so easy and simple. So um, you don't really even need the cookbook for it, but just the idea of a protein bowl, which we do different versions of. We're trying to be better about like trying to make something like this once a week because quinoa is really good for you. We were literally Googling what it was good for and it's got like all nine essential amino acids. But yeah, doing that and then I feel like I could take the corn out because I did, we just did like frozen bagged corn. I could not find, sweet corn is not in season, so I couldn't find that like on the cob. I was trying to find like any other version other than frozen, I really couldn't. So it was really good though, but I feel like I could make this bowl, take the corn out and put in roasted broccoli, like roast broccoli and sweet potatoes together. And then it, I know broccoli is good with honey mustard because again, another bowl we make has that, but Long story short, this, how have I talked about this dinner this long? It was really good. That's really all I was trying to say. Now it is time to tackle the dishes, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I am currently rewatching, I'm gonna spell it in case you have kids in the room, even though it's not technically a bad word, but the S-C-H-I-T-T-S -T -T Creek. <laughs> You're welcome for those that have kids in the room. <laughs> Sometimes I forget, like I just say it and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm just, it's the name of the show. Anyway rewatching it, um, like literally season one, episode two. And I love rewatching shows because it just feels so like, you know how it all ends and how the characters grow. So it's almost funny to see them at the beginning. But anyway, that is what we're up to. I'm gonna make some nighttime tea, I think, for me and Tyler. And then we are probably just gonna hit the hay because we are very tired. Also, there's little worse than when you open the dishwasher, ready to like rinse some dishes off and put them in and you realize these are clean. I mean, that's a good thing in theory. But then I'm like, oh man, that adds like five to 10 minutes to this process, <laughs> dang it. Good morning, everyone. Um, it is Tuesday. So trying to get some stuff done around the house today. Also, have you guys seen our little coffee bar? I know we showed it in uh, Vlogmas here. Let me show you. Well, let me tell you about our day. So today, trying to get some stuff done as much as possible, starting to think about packing. We leave on a trip here in a couple days. You're probably seeing this while we're on the trip, but... Um, or maybe when we're back, I'm trying to think. But anyway, so trying to think through, like I need to make sure I get laundry done so that the laundry is clean by the time I'm like actually sitting to pack both of the girls' things, my things, etc. Tyler just went through all of his clothes in the closet the other day and got rid of so many things that he's had for like a decade. Like since before we even met each other that he's like, either doesn't fit or it's just not really a style he wears or you know, whatever. And I know, oh man, like I know that feeling so well and I'm sure it felt so good for him to do that. So what that means is there's like piles of clothes all over our room that we need to bag up and take to a donation center, like that kind of stuff. So I need to check some things off my list today because I feel like time is gonna get away from me really quickly. Uh, so let me show you our little coffee bar. I am um, pouring myself a cup of coffee anyway, so it's a perfect time. So uh, this is what it looks like. We try to keep it really, really simple and neutral because that was the whole thing. For me, I wanted less visual clutter. If you remember what was here, it was like that glass kind of like baker's shelf or whatever you call it, um, hutch-ish thing. And we have like some wine glasses on it, just random things that really, it kind of was a waste of space because we didn't use it well, you know what I mean? And by doing this, this freed up a ton of areas in our cabinet that were holding like, you know, coffee mugs and coffee, etc. So this is so nice. I can link some of the things you see here. This is our new pour over thing. I genuinely, it just took me like a full minute to figure out, remember what it was called. Uh, we've used it once or twice. We really like it. It's just, you know, you gotta like actually put in the effort to do it. Some espresso things. We've got our coffee beans we're using. I got this on Amazon, so cute. Uh, and then ground coffee. There's usually more mugs here. They're dirty in the dishwasher, but we have, we just got these at Target. I love, again, how kind of neutral they were. Cause you guys know we have tons of fun mugs, but just for, I don't know, sometimes we just want to use a simple one. Our coffee filters, and then of course our coffee things, our Keurig, our uh, hot water kettle, and then our, our baby, our uh, coffee maker. So, and then down here we've got tea, and apparently chocolate. Oh, hot cocoa, that makes sense. Uh, anyway, so we've got like tea type things in there. And then over here, we've got coffee pods. We actually have our napkins here. And then you saw these in Vlogmas, our little coffee mug 
things you put around if you want to know who's is who's, you know, you can put around wine too. Uh, and then down here, we just have all of our coffee, not all of them. <laughs> we have the current coffee mugs we're using. So right now we still have to switch from Christmas <laughs> and then just other things down there too. So it's just really nice to free up space in our other cabinets. It, I think it looks so cute and yeah, I'm very happy with it. So there you go. All right, as promised, I would share with you guys the groceries I got this month from Thrive Market. Uh, well, I say this month. Sometimes I order more than one box in a month, but you know what I mean? This order. Uh, and of course, this portion of the video is very kindly sponsored by Thrive Market, as I mentioned at the beginning. So I wanna show you what things I got this time. I got a lot of things we love, but also some stuff for Felicity now because she's starting to eat food. Like it's just, I can't believe she's nine months old. Like it doesn't, it still doesn't feel real. It's flying by even more with the second kid. But anyway, so some stuff for her, a lot of stuff for Genevieve too. So if you've never heard of Thrive Market, it is an online membership based grocery store. We love it. We save so much money by buying a lot of our groceries on there. Most of the stuff we get there are like pantry staples. They're our favorite snacks. They sell frozen things, wine, meat, like everything under the sun, but they also sell baby stuff and home stuff and pet stuff. So anything you can think of that you might need, Thrive Market probably sells it. And I love too that you can organize the site by different values, diets, lifestyles, whether it's keto, gluten-free, non-GMO, vegan, Whole30, any of those kinds of things you can organize by so you can find lots of different options. And what I've noticed over the years of using Thrive Market is there are way more options on there, especially if you do eat a certain way than what you find in most grocery stores. So I love that. And again, we saved money. I saved, I think it was around $27. I'll pop it up on the screen just in this order alone. And so, yeah, let me show you what we got. So one of uh, Genevieve's favorites, I think most kids like the go-go squeezes. These are the boulderberry. I like that it's not just fruit. It also has vegetables in it. If you have a kid that you know, doesn't like veggies, which I always talk about Genevieve doesn't like veggies. I did not like veggies as a kid. Like, I don't think I ate veggies until I was an adult, genuinely. And now I really, really, really like them. So I just need to let it go. But I do try to like squeeze in veggies wherever I can. So this is one of the ways. So these Go Go Squeeze Boulderberry. These I've never bought, but we have bought from this brand. This is the This Saves Lives little chocolate chip granola bars. These are great because they're safe for school. If you have a nut-free school, that kind of thing, you can send these to school. And so we haven't tried the granola bars, but we have tried their little like unicorn rice krispie treat type things and she loves them. So that is awesome. So I'm excited to give these a try, see if she likes them. And then I got two of the baby mum mums. <laughs> I love saying that, it's so cute. Uh, little teething wafers. Felicity loves these. She'll just nom on them, especially while I'm like cooking dinner and I'm trying to give her like little bits of, you know, things that she can eat. This is an easy thing I can just give to her while she's waiting for me to maybe get something for her, you know? Uh, so this is the vegetable kind. So this was like a bulk pack of the little Brainiac Organics little pouches or packets, whatever you wanna call them. These are so great, especially for on the go. Genevieve likes them. They've got um, apple, carrot, and banana. So again, fruit and veggie blended together, just lots of good stuff in them. So love that. She is a big fan of squeezy packets and she'll pretty, she pretty much likes any one I put in front of her. So there we go. And I'm happy to save money on those because I feel like those can get really expensive, you know? Ooh, baby. All right, we're gonna, I wanna open these right now, but there's another one I've never tried. So let me just show you. So this is one of my absolute favorite things Thrive Market sells, the late July jalapeno lime tortilla chips. Listen, these are like, next level i mean they take they remind me of doritos but maybe slightly healthier you know what i mean maybe slightly better ingredients there's still a chip you know but man oh man are they so good but these i do want to try so these are from the ground up cauliflower potato chips so we've tried a lot from this brand like their cauliflower like little crunchy stalk things those are really good but these potato chips or cauliflower chips whatever are salt and vinegar flavored they do have some potato in them by the way i just kidding. i love salt and vinegar anything Mm. This is what they look like. These are pretty good. Like for me, I judge a snack like this. Like would it satisfy my afternoon salty snack craving in this one? Mm. I could definitely see where like the plain ones of these would just be okay. But the flavor, salt and vinegar. Mm -hmm. We always get coffee when we order because they sell some of our favorites. Uh, this is one I don't think I've tried. The Thrive Market Colombian Blend. It's whole bean, they also have ground, they have so many different kinds. It's organic, and organic coffee is really hard to find in the store. Like usually at the stores we'll go to, we'll find like one or two kinds, maybe three. 
Um, so it's nice to have a lot of different options, especially since we do love coffee, as you guys know. Also got some of the applesauce. This is great because I'm pretty sure, yeah, no added sugar or anything. So this is something both of the girls can eat. Okay, then we also got the Rayo's chicken and gnocchi simmering or slow simmered soup. Oh, baby. These are under, well, I don't know that anything from Rao's, Rayo's, I used to say Rao's, Rayo's, is underrated. Anyway, but this this soup one of you guys recommended to us and it is so so good like wow it is so good it tastes like a soup you've made all day and that's hard to find in a like canned or jar soup so 10 out of 10 would recommend these we'll dump both of these in a pot make some grilled cheese and it is like a really hearty delicious dinner and it takes like five minutes you know so a couple of drinks we got this tyler loved the i think last month it was an order or two ago, I should say. We got this and Tyler loved it. He said it was one of the best cold brews he's had that's like pre-made. So this is the Wandering Bear Extra Strong Cold Brew, straight black. So I got it again. I know he's gonna be so jazzed. I might pour myself a little bit of that later because by the way, I poured my coffee. I have, there's like this much. Tyler had drank and taken all of it. <laughs> I know he'll take some with him like he left today. So he put some in a uh, thermos and a, uh, Boy, apparently he put all of it in the thermos. <laughs> Wanna try yet another flavor of the poppy soda because so many of you guys like it. Like I said, the best one I've tried of this is the root beer, but I've tried a couple others I really didn't like, like the cola was so gross to me. So this one is strawberry lemon. Why don't we try it? Let's just try it right now. Hope I like it. Cheers. Okay, this is, this is so much better. Maybe the key is not getting something that you know what the taste would be. Like root beer, I know what root beer tastes like. Coke, I know what it, you know what I mean? So trying to recreate that in something that's supposed to be like good for your gut, prebiotics, etc., would be hard to do. Something strawberry lemon that like, I don't have a strawberry lemon pop that I drink, you know, that way it can be good on its own. And this actually tastes really good. Okay, I found the flavor. This is the flavor, you guys. Well, now I wish I'd gotten more than two. <laughs> Dang it, next time. A lot of times, so Thrive Market has an app and we'll just add things to the cart. And then once we hit the threshold for free shipping, which is $49, once we hit $49, that's when we know, okay, we can check out. We don't have to pay for shipping. So I don't think we've ever paid for shipping, which is amazing. So I'll probably go ahead and add that to my cart. Actually, I'll do it right now because I don't want to forget. <laughs> Those are so good. Okay, so another thing I got were, it's actually a few of these, these organic peanut butter puffs with babies You're supposed to introduce peanuts and peanut butter to them definitely before the first birthday because that has been proven to actually decline the amount of allergies or peanut allergies there are i didn't say that right i hope that made sense i, I know mo i feel like most people know that but anyway so we have already introduced peanuts and peanut butter to her she loves it she's had it plenty but this is just another little snack she could have um that is peanut butter as well so and it says it just has four ingredients that is so cool we'll have those yeah it's like a there's a grouping of like six of them. Okay, so I mentioned Thrive Market sells a lot of different stuff. They also sell like skincare and makeup. So one of my favorite skincare ingredients of all time, ever, 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 is rosehip seed oil. It is like my secret weapon. It's not even a secret though. You can usually get it for pretty inexpensive, but you wanna make sure you get organic, really good rosehip oil. So this is from, I think it's Thrive Market's brand. It's F-A-E, Fay, and it is their organic rosehip oil. It's wild harvested, cold pressed, that's what you wanna look for. And this stuff is just so amazing. Like if you look into the benefits, I don't know them right off the top of my head, but if you look into the benefits for your skin and rosehip oil, it's amazing. And it, I just feel like I've been using it for years and my skin just loves it. I'll use it, like especially if my skin's ever like flaring up or anything, I just like halt all skincare usage, I'll clean my face and I'll just put rosehip oil all over my face. And I'll do that for a few days and I feel like anything clears up, like it just, my skin loves it. My skin absolutely loves it. So I'm always ha happy to find good ones for a good price. And this was very inexpensive. So wanted to mention it if you've wanted to try it or maybe you already love rosehip oil. This is a wildly good price. So very excited to have that. That was all that I got this time. These are actually really good. Love discovering some new, new good things. Keeps life spicy. So another thing I love about Thrive is you can go to their deals section of the site and you can see your favorite brands and products and it will show you if they're on sale and what the deals are right now. That's actually really helpful because I repurchase a lot of 
previous things and I definitely do have brands I gravitate towards so I'm always excited like if I see them on sale I'll go ahead and stock up on that but I also love that they have a low price guarantee so if you do find something that they sell for a cheaper price elsewhere they will match it so as I mentioned orders over $49 are shipped for free from their carbon neutral warehouse they're on a mission to become the world's first climate positive grocery store which I think is so cool so as I mentioned it is a membership based grocery store so they have two different membership models so they have the monthly one which is $12 a month, but then they have the 12 month membership, which is what we do, which breaks down to $5 a month. It's billed at $59.95 for the year. Uh, we save so much more than that. And the best part is that Thrive Market, if you don't make back your membership costs by the end of the year in savings, they'll credit you the difference. So they really do stand by the fact that you will, and you trust, you will end up making back beyond in savings beyond what you pay for the membership. So we absolutely love it. So if you want to check out Thrive Market for yourself, you can click the link in my description box or go to thrivemarket.com slash Jessica Braun to get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60. It is always a good time to join. They always have such amazing deals. And I mean, I could go on and on about favorites we've discovered from them. I feel like my snacking world and like my everything has leveled up since I started purchasing from Thrive Market. So very excited to be sponsored by them again. Thank you again to Thrive Market for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. And again, I'll have the link and everything right at the top of the description box for you. Side note, these chicken breast bites from Costco, they come like in an attached sleeve of like 10 or something, are so awesome. I'll use them in wraps sometimes. This time I obviously used it in a salad. And my favorite salad dressing of the moment is still this one. It doesn't taste like traditional Caesar, so I wanna tell you that right now. <laughs> like, it really doesn't taste anything like it. But on its own, it's just a good dressing. I almost wish they'd call it something other than Caesar, because like I said, it doesn't taste anything like that. But it's really, really good. It's like refreshing. You know how balsamic vinaigrette type things can be so like, like tart almost? It's like if you cross that with a more creamy one, you get this. And I think that's why I like it. It's not too terribly like creamy. It's not too terribly vinegary. Vinegar, I mean, really, I guess is the word I'm looking for. Anyway, uh, it's really good. And it's especially good on that kind of salad with like some warmed up chicken. Mm. So proud of myself for eating a salad. <laughs> but yeah, I need to go upstairs and get some work done. All right, we are on my phone camera right now. So I just, am, I'm at Ulta because I want to go in and get a couple travel size toiletries I need for the trip coming up. But um, a lot of the ones I want, I, I honestly never come into Ulta, the store store. First of all, I have not been in Ulta's store in year. Uh, no, maybe. Like I just always buy stuff online, but I love coming into Ulta because there's, there's just so much to look at and it's always so exciting anyway. But um, I've never really come here for travel toiletries. I'll buy some online from time to time. But, you know, I'll go to a regular, like, Meyer superstore, you know, near me and look at their travel section. It's always really picked over and they don't have necessarily the brands I might want, whatever. So I'm excited to come here. I double checked online that certain things I was looking for were in stock at my location. and They were. So I don't know where the travel section is. We're going to find out. But I'm so excited. So let's go to Ulta. <laughs> We are back home. Look at my little wings. That's my uh, postpartum hair growing back. It's a penguin, I see that. So anyway, I'm home. We got the girls. It's dinner bath time, so I will show you what I got. I, I, I want to go away to bed after this, okay? That girl, I think that sounds like a great idea. Uh, so we're gonna do our, our whole well, evening thing, but I'll be back in a minute, i.e. tomorrow, to show you what I got from Ulta. It's some good stuff. <laughs> All right, it is Wednesday. I've got, as promised, my bag of Ulta goodies. I'm going to share with you guys what I got. So I needed, like I said, mostly travel stuff. A few things caught my eye. D what? A few things caught my eye. What was I trying to say? And so I grabbed those and then I also needed a new vitamin C serum and I wanted to try a new brand. I know what my favorites are, but I'm like, I wanna from time to time dip my toe out. 
So let's start with that. I got the Acure Brightening Vitamin C and Ferulic Acid Serum. So this sounds a lot like my May Love Serum that I love. It's got ferulic acid, it's got vitamin C. So this says it also has pineapple extract and matcha tea to help you shine bright. So I know Acure is more of like a natural-ish brand. I mean, whatever that means to you, you know. Um, oh, that is not what I expected this to look like. It's like in a glass bottle, but it looks like this. Actually, that makes sense because I know vitamin C does better when it's not exposed to light and stuff. Let's just see. Okay, and it looks like this. Hmm. It kind of has just a, it doesn't have, you can tell there's no added fragrance. Just kind of has a slight smell of skincare. I don't know, it's not a bad smell. It just kind of is there. I don't, you know what I mean? So I'm excited to give this a try and try uh, one I've never tried before, you know, trying to just spread my wings, baby. I will say I've tried a few things from Acure and I feel like it's been kind of hit or miss. So like whether I liked it or not. So the travel things I got really quickly, these are all like my staples that when I run out, I just buy the same thing. The Bedhead Masterpiece Hairspray. I was sad to buy this full price because a lot of times they'll have the travel ones on sale, like buy one, get one free or 50% off because this is a shockingly expensive hairspray for a travel size. But it's worth it because I keep trying other hairsprays and I just, nothing compares. So uh, I also needed a new body cream for travel. This is the CeraVe moisturizing cream. I love this stuff. I got the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Dry Shampoo. This is the unscented, which is the one that I like from them. I really like this because I really feel like this does not give a white cast. Maybe it's the one I have. I have a full size at the workspace and it's like tapioca, but I think this one is too. It just doesn't say it. Anyway, I feel like it's not super white casty and it works really well. So, and it is a lot less expensive than a lot of other ones that are out there. Um, and then I also grabbed the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I wish, this is one of my favorites, but my ultimate favorite is the La Roche-Posay uh, hydrating cleanser and I wish they had a travel size of that. I've never seen one. I should maybe look online um, because then I could just refill it with the one I have and just kind of do it that way. I mean, I know I could just get a, but I, I like having the actual bottles. I don't know why. I'm just doing it like that. I also got a restock of my favorite Ava NYC Main Magic Primer. So I tried recently a Pacifica detangler spray. So like when I get out of the shower, I spray my hair with the detangler spray. This is my favorite and then I'll comb through it. It really does make a difference. So I tried a Pacifica one that's more like coconut milk-esque. It did not work anywhere near as well. And it's so funny because the second I went back to using this, I was like, oh, cause I, I just was like, gosh, my hair feels extra tangly lately. And I'm realizing, I'm like, no, it's cause I'm using a different detangler and this one is just that much better. It works so much better. So it also smells really nice. I love the spray nozzle. Mm, this is just a 10 out of 10. Again, I wish I want a travel size of this as well. Okay, so now on to the, the fun stuff. Some makeup y things that caught my eye. First off, this. This is the NYX Bear With Me Blur. Oh no, don't tell me this shattered. I'm seeing powder coming out and I'm getting really concerned that this is shattered. Oh, come on. Um, anyway, this says it's a blurring tint foundation. I got it in 03 Light Ivory. It says medium coverage, matte blurred finish. I just, I don't know. I've kind of heard bits. It's totally been like squirted out. Man, that's just it. Okay, and it also looks way too dark. Like way too like pinky orange. I don't know. I like, the formula feels nice. Like just kind of messing with it here. It feels really good. It really does like kind of blur out the pores just on my hand. So I need to get a better shade match. So then I also got another shade in the uh, Maybelline Vinyl lippy line. I love these. These were in my Jammy Awards for the year. This is the shade Cheeky. And I was want yeah, I was wanting a shade that was kind of like a pinky neutral like that. Yay. So that is exciting. I just love this line so much because it's kind of glossy, kind of not. It stays pretty well. I just, I'm a fan. I'm just such a fan of it. And then I'm scared to open this. I got another e.l.f. camo powder foundation because I've been out of it because my last one shattered. Yep, also it's way too light, so there we go. This has been a waste of a lot of money. This is such a bummer. So anyway, well at least I know this is not my shade, 120 in is way too light. So there's that. I've been curious because I bought, oh my gosh, I'm literally covered in powder. Oh my gosh, so 
Man, this is like turning into such a bummer of a haul. Uh, the last thing I got was the Vanillico Clean It Zero. So I needed a new makeup cleansing balm for this trip. And this is one that so many of you guys recommended and I've never tried it. It's always been on my radar like, oh, I wanna try that. Oh, I need to try that. And so the fact that I was able to get a smaller size is perfect. Also, I totally wandered around Ulta being like, where's their travel size stuff? And so a lot of it was mixed in with the specific brand. So like in the hair care area, I went to the bedhead section and then I found the small size. So I understand that why they would do it that way. You know, if you're looking to try something and you're like, oh, well, why don't I buy the small one? I see it right here and then I can try it and decide. But when you're like going in for travel stuff, it's frustrating because you're having to go through the entire store to each section to try to find the things. But the nice thing was at the very end, I had this realization I'm like, Jessica, at the checkout, they have all of those huge things of small sizes. So I was able to find the last couple things I needed and kind of swap some things out for um, what I really wanted that I couldn't find in the regular store. So that made me happy um, to actually find, but I was just laughing at myself. I'm like, how did that not even like cross my mind? So anyway. Well, I am bummed and I'm covered in that powder, but that's okay. I um, have another video I'm filming today, my final Jammy Awards video. And so I'm finishing up planning for that. I was just doing a lot of computer work earlier. My eyes feel absolutely cross. I think I was talking about earlier in this video, but oh, I've not had a lot of good experience with the bookkeeping stuff that I've been doing. So I'm excited to get a new like bookkeeper that is local because it's been incredibly frustrating to be passed around and to constantly have to re-explain. And I'm like, why am I paying a very high price? So it's not that the bookkeepers that work for QuickBooks aren't good bookkeepers. It's that if there isn't any consistency with the person you're working with, it kind of defeats the purpose. I need someone that like knows what I'm doing, knows what my job is, understands how to categorize different expenses and stuff, you know? Anyway, I just feel like complaining to someone, okay? So you get, you guys are it, I'm complaining to you. These are small things, we're gonna solve this problem, it's no big deal, I know, but just wanted to vent. Yeah, so that is the plan. I need to kind of put my travel-y things all together. It's always nice to have a restock. I feel like I haven't, I mean, this was a lot of travel stuff I bought. And you know, the reality is like looking at it, like these are not things I could refill. So like dry shampoo and hairspray, that's something I'll always just have to buy. These are things I can refill and I have. Like the CeraVe Hydrating, when I was using this full size cleanser, I refilled the same bottle like six times. Like, you know what I mean, over the course of a while. So I try to reuse them when I can, but just certain things that just isn't conducive to it. But like you're talking about, like I know detangling spray, I could just pour this into a sprayer, but the nozzle is what makes this magical. I mean, the formula too, but the nozzle, man, the nozzle. Anyway, so there we go. Um, if you have any recommendations for, I need a new serum. Like, okay, here's the reality. I need to go to a dermatologist and get back on retinol because I was on that a while ago, but then when I was pregnant, I couldn't use it. It kind of fell off, you know, that train of doing it and I don't have any anymore. And so I want to get back on that. So I need to just make that appointment. But I'm just curious what other like anti-aging skincare serums that you like that you really feel like make a difference. I have a few that are like my go-tos, but I'm curious, again, I'm kind of wanting to refresh my routine and try a couple new things. So let me know if there's like one serum that you use every night that you really feel like is just that next level that you keep rebuying. Comment below. All right, onward. Alrighty, so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here, but I hope that you enjoyed it. Again, thanks to Thrive Market, of course, for sponsoring a portion of this video. If you wanna check out Thrive Market for yourself, you can get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60 by going to thrivemarket.com slash Jessica Braun. I'll have the link and everything right at the top of the description box. And thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. If you wanna watch more of my vlogs, you might've missed one here or there, I will link my vlog playlist. And if you are like, really wanting to watch more vlogs, uh, I will link our Vlogmas playlist from all of December. We vlogged every single day on Tyler's channel. So I'll link that playlist as well in case you are wanting to catch up. Maybe you're just needing something to binge. I don't know. I don't know what your life is right now, but I know sometimes I get in moods where I just like want to binge. I don't know. Anyway, who doesn't? <laughs> okay. Anyway. All right. Love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.